hey guys and welcome back to another video so today's video is going to be my first paycheck for the month of april so this is my budget here in front of me and my got my cash ready already so there's a slight change into my envelopes and this is i get paid bi-weekly so we get three paychecks this month and i'm hoping that I won't mess up anything as far as doing the three paychecks and and you know budgeting the three paychecks but let's get right into it so my income is 780 i'm not giving anything to blessings because blessings already have money in it i think it has about maybe 60 to 70 dollars in it so i'm not going to give anything to blessings so the rent is 190 Cell phone is going to be 50, cable 56, Apple Music 7. So the total expenses expenses are 303, leaves me with a remaining of $477. Then the cash envelopes are going to be groceries, which is $150, which that's got to last me 2 weeks. Other is going to be 50, and I'm going to explain that in a few minutes. So that's a total of $200 emergency is going to, i mean sinking funds are going to be emergency 16 vet 13 senior dues 33 college 16 home 16 car 15 mystery box 6 christmas 10 vacation 16. so as you can see everything that says bank is what stood in the bank so i can leave it there and put it where it needs to be put in order for it to grow something in there so sinking funds is going to be a total of 142 dollars savings is going to be retirement 14 dollars um yeah savings is going to be 32 dollars plus six dollars which equals to 38 dollars savings totals is going to be 46 dollars you could just disregard that and debt which is going to be the chase credit card is going to be 83 dollars which this is a zero based budget. Woohoo! So let's get right into it. Okay, so let's talk about the cash envelopes. This is only going to be one envelope. And I got this idea from Naturally Lizzie. And then I heard Naturally Lizzie say that Jordan and Paige is the one that, that did this. So I'm going to give it a try. Because I feel like having multiple envelopes, it, I don't know, I'm not going to say it distracts me, but it gets me to say, hey, I have spending, right? Envelope of spending. I could take out of there. I have um, household. I think everything is household. I mean, I know not literally everything is household, but I'm just saying I could take out a household. So what I said was, I'm going to give this a try for the next three months. I'm hoping that this works because if it does, I'm just going to stay with it. And this is me having less envelopes with me. So this is what it looks like. Boom. So all I did was on Jordan's page, Jordan page. You can go on her, her website and you can print the sheet for free. Um, I'm trying it this way right now. I am going to do the clear zip um, pouches and then just stick it in the um, pouches. But for right now, I'm just going to try it like this. So it says the month of April 2022, my main budget is groceries. So I know there's a week of five, but I broke it down into four weeks. If I'm doing this wrong, whoever is doing this, please let me know in the comments below. Let's talk about it because this is my first time using it. So this is my understanding on how this works. So groceries is going to be 300. So what you do is you divide it up to uh, four weeks. I know we have five weeks, but the way I have it set up by the dates, it only gave me four weeks, right? So four weeks is $75 a week. Right, and that's just for groceries. And then other budget could be like anything you need for your household, pets, um, maybe personal. What else did she say? Um, maybe beauty. 
right you can use this here so what i did was it was a hundred dollars so it's 25 dollars a week so this is all you have for, for the week it's 75 dollars a week for groceries and 25 dollars for other so with that being said i have a hundred dollars for the week right technically right somewhat but if let's just say you go over 75 dollars I know Jordan Page says never go down. She said you can borrow back and forth here. So you can borrow from the $25 if you go over. It's only two people. It's only me and my daughter. So $75 should be good as long as I try to get my groceries intact. Like I need to look at circulars, see what's on sale, see what I already have in my cabinets. I failed for the month of March, guys. It's unbelievable on how I had $400 and yeah, I spent it on eating out, not wanting to cook. My daughter has softball practice. I didn't budget for those things so I can eat out or schedule something and it was a hot mess. I mean, did I have a lot of no spends? Yes, I did. I had a lot of no spends for the month of March, which I did. I think I did pretty good, but for me to actually spend within those $400 was rid ridiculous. So, this is all I have for from the 1st to the 8th. And this is what I'm going to work with. So this is going to be from the 1st to the 8th. This is what I have. So all I did was I stuck this. I cut it out. And I just put it on a regular envelope. As you can see, this is one of those envelopes that have the window. And that's what I'm going to use. And I stuck it on here. So that is the one envelope budget. This is the one envelope budget. And I hope that it works out because if it works out, this is what I'm sticking to. So let's get with the cash stuffing. So what I'm going to put in here is $200. So it's going to be 100 Oh, wait. Give me one second, guys. All right, guys. So let's get into the stuffing. So what I'm going to be doing is groceries is going to get 100 Two twenties and a ten, and then other is going to get two twenties and a ten to make it two hundred dollars. Okay, so that's gonna be two hundred. So one twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, ninety, one hundred makes it two hundred, and this is all I got to spend, guys. That's it. So wish me luck in the comments. Wish me luck. So that was easy, right? So now let's go into the binders. So what's going to get? Senior dues. Senior dues is the only thing that's going to get into these binders because um, and senior dues get $33, which is a 20 a 10 and three dollars so 33 dollars is going into senior dudes okay so we got that out the way now let's do the mystery box the mystery box do get six dollars so five five and a six i'm so excited i can't wait till i finish this so six dollars is going into here we're gonna put this here please don't mind my nails i need to paint them i know and then christmas is going to get 10 right christmas is going to get 10. so i'm gonna be swapping out my 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 envelopes whenever they are getting too thick thick with prop money and then vacation is going to get 16. so 10 15 16. Every little amount that you put in anything, guys, your stuff will grow. So, 
um, savings is going into the bank. Retirement is going to get 14. Let me see where, where did I put retirement at? Retirement is right here. It's going to get 15. I mean, 14, 14. Okay, so that is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 dollars. And then Chase. Credit card is going to get 83. So that's going to be 20, 40, 60, 80. One, two, three. So 83 for goodbye debt. Bye bye debt. I can't wait till I could be like, I'm debt free. So get ready because when that day comes, I'm, I'm going to scream. I might just go live to go scream. All right, guys. So that is it for all my binders. And this here is basically everything that's here, which should be 303. So 100, 200, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 90, 95, 100, 1, 2, 3. So 303 is what I have here. And that is for my bills. So that is it, guys. I hope that um, you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys did, if you guys did, please give me a thumbs up. It really, really helps my channel. You want to have a conversation? Let's have it in the comment section below. If you saw it, saw this to the end, give me a pen emoji. I really, really do appreciate you guys. I love you guys. And like I said, have a blessed, blessed day. Until next time, guys, I see you in my next video.